part four. I'm just going to allow the Lord to use me. So I'm going to pray before I do this prayer. Um, and then after that, I'm going to put pray. And you can pray along with me and I'm going to pray over you guys. And wow, I can't wait to hear the testimonies. I'm really excited. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of testimonies after this. Um, whether it'll happen today or in the future, but you know, so dear Lord, come before you. I pray Lord that I would decrease and you would increase. I pray that it would be all of you and none of me. I pray Lord that you know, you would just move through me and speak through me and use me in a mighty way, Lord, during this message. I mean, during this prayer, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you would speak through me and the words that you want to get out to your children during this prayer. Dear Lord, I pray that many testimonies would happen, you know, and many breakthroughs would happen and many healing would happen with people that need healing or, you know, people need break, break, breaking off of pride or addictions or whatever the case may be. But I just pray, Lord, that your will will be done. And I pray that you would use me as your willing vessel. And I pray that you would use me the way you see fit, Lord. I pray that the words of my mouth, let the words of my mouth, let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in your name I pray, amen. I'm going to pray here. So, dear Lord, I come before you right now. I'm praying over your children or praying over the people that are across the screen right now that are watching this video. I pray that there would be healing that happens in their lives deliverance they would experience deliverance in their lives lord in this hour i pray lord that your will be done in their lives and i pray lord that whatever they're going through right now i pray that you would break off addictions i pray that i pray that you would break off pride i pray that you would break off anything that is not of you. I declare and decree that pride is broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that addictions are broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that ego is broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that bitterness is broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that unforgiveness is broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that lust is broken off in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree. I declare and decree that depression, that they are set free from depression. I declare and decree that they are set free from depression in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that they are set free from anxiety in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree they are set free from suicide in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that they are set free from addictions in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that they are set free from drunkenness in the name of Jesus, that they are sober. I declare and decree that they would lose desire to take drugs, alcohol, that they would lose desire to smoke, to do weed, any of that, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you would help them to quit and to get help. 
I pray that they would get the help that they need. And I pray, Lord, that you would send people into their life to be an encouragement, to bring them out of their situations, to be a light. When, there's feel, when, when, when they feel hopeless, I pray that you would bring back hope. When they feel depressed and stressed out all the time, I pray that you would bring back joy. I pray that they would experience an encounter with you that they cannot even fathom, that they've never experienced in their life, but it will change their lives forever. I pray that right now that they would feel your presence, your presence from the Holy Spirit. And I pray, Lord, right now, I declare, I declare and decree that the assignments of the enemy are canceled in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that the attacks of the enemy that are on these people are canceled in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that the tactics of the enemy are canceled in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out these evil spirits in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out these unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out these demons in the name of Jesus. Devil, you must give back what you stole. I command that the devil would give back what he stole and pay back sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I, I command that the devil would loose and release these marriage promises in the name of Jesus. I command that the devil would give back and release these kingdom spouses in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that the devil would release these kingdom marriages in the name of Jesus, that he would let go and would stop trying to fight these marriages in the name of Jesus. I pray that your will will be done in their lives. I pray right I pray Lord that <sighs> Dear Lord, I pray right now for healing, for deliverance in their lives. I declare and decree healing over their I declare and decree that they would be healed in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that they would be delivered in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that they would be set free from anything that is not of you in the name of Jesus. I pray that they would repent. They would turn away from their sins. They would ask you, Lord, for forgiveness and not look back. If they wouldn't look back just like Sodom's wife looked back. Like Lot's, Lot, no, like Lot's wife looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. So I pray right now, Lord, that they would not look back, but they would look forward and they keep moving forward with you. And they would not look back. They would not go back to their sin cycles. They would not go back to what they used to do, but they would move forward. They would pursue after holiness and righteousness, pursue after having a relationship with you, Lord. And whenever they mess up, that they come to you and repent, that there would be daily repentance. I pray, Lord, you, I pray, I pray, Lord, you'd bring back joy in their lives. I pray you bring back peace in their lives. I speak peace over your lives in the name of Jesus. I speak joy over your lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for setting them free. In your name, I pray. Amen. Wow. Lord really used me, so I really hope that really encouraged you guys. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay blessed and encouraged. I... Stay blessed and... Sorry, I can't talk today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay blessed. Know that you're blessed and loved by God. I hope you guys have... I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will, I will see you guys later. Bye.